Welcome back everyone. Wagwan Wagwan. And I'm gonna make something for you all that it's very enhancing and it's a part of Jamaica. I'm gonna be making Manish water. And lots of people doesn't know the concept of Manish water. And I'm gonna break down my ingredients real quick because I'm gonna give you guys full on tutorial on how to make Manish water. Go to it too. On the cutting board I have pumpkin, fresh thyme or cloves of garlic, and I have okra, carrot, green banana, edos, and I have potatoes, pumpkin beef soup, and I have my yam, and then I have my goated over here, and everything is all cut up nice. And I also have regular goat meat, and I have Pimento, the allspice. I can't forget the allspice. When I was younger, I used to hear about manish. I never know what it means because my, my parents always look at me and tell me, oh yeah, I move manish. So now we understand what manish water means. We're gonna break it down. Manish water is a soup that you drink and it's get it's have little enhancing in it when you put all of the stuff inside of it. I'm gonna get my goat meat in the pressure cooker because you have to pressure the goat in with the goat meat. Oh, I have my pressure cooker on the stove and I have four cups of water inside it. I'm going to add my goat in. And remember, always clean your goat in with vinegar. And I'm going to add the rest of goat meat. I'm going to add the four cloves of garlic. Then I'm going to add some fresh thyme, I just want to cut that in the pot. I'm going to help buy some scallion. And lots of people know this as green onion. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to add the pimento. Just like two tablespoons of pimento. And then I'm gonna let the pot come to a boil before I put on the lid. Now my pressure cooker is coming to a boil. I'm gonna get my lid on. So first I'm gonna add the weight and I'm gonna close my pressure cooker and I'm gonna let the goat head pressure for 45 minutes. And meanwhile I'm waiting on the pressure cooker to pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna peel my edo and my potato and my yam. I'm gonna start out with the edo. And with the yam, I have to grab a bigger knife. So you wanna split your yam down the middle. So it's easier to handle. And it's nice yellow yam. And the same thing we're gonna do for the pumpkin. I have my carrot already peeled and cut up. I'm just gonna add my pumpkin straight to that. Now I'm going to cut up the pumpkin and I'm going to cut it in the container where I have the carrots. Now I'm going to cut up the bananas and remember, this is going to help enhance. I have lots of iron inside it and we need iron into the soup. So I'm just going to cut the banana by just cutting up the stem. And I'm gonna cut off the tips. You don't need those. And then we're just gonna cut up the banana in small slices and we're gonna leave the skin. Right, this is Jamaican manish water. So if you are not manish, this is not the soup for you. So the same thing with our okras. We're just gonna cut the tips off. You just want to go one, remove all the heads, 
then we're going to remove the tips. And once you get the heads of the okra cut, you're just going to just line them up and you're just going to give them a half a cut. So just have a half a cut, just like this. Then we're going to have this in a separate bowl. I'm going to cut up my yams. I just want them into smaller pieces. And we're just gonna keep them in the water. Same with the potatoes. Now that the goat meat is finished pressuring, I'm just cooling down the pressure cooker by running some tap water onto the pressure cooker. Now we're gonna check on everything inside the pressure cooker and everything is pressure so good. So now we're gonna transfer it into the pot that we are using to make the soup. The soup is for man and woman, but woman for drink a little bit. Not a lot. You don't give a female a lot of this soup. She's supposed to just take a little sip. In this Spanish water right here, I'm gonna start making dumpling because I don't want to forget about the dumpling. I'm gonna show you guys how to make dumpling. I have a pound and a half of flour. I'm just gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then I'm gonna add a quarter pound of meal. So I'm just gonna mix it in. And always the same concept. Just add water as you go because we are making that dough. I never made dumpling and I have to add flour inside it. Always the right amount of water. Now I'm going to add all of my yam, banana and potato and edo into the pot. And all of this goodness going into the soup, going to give the soup its body and the energy that's going to come from this soup cause the soup full of energy. Now as Abalik was saying, I said, ram goat soup, go to make manish water. This is the energy that your body need to perform. So nobody can complain about the five minutes anymore. You're gone to 10 minutes and 20 and 30. I'm going to give the pot a quick stir. everything inside here then I'm gonna add my pumpkin and carrots just to add more color into the pot and just stir it in and just look at the pot with the soup it looks so colorful Now it's time to add our cornmeal dumpling. You're gonna add some big boys, and these are some card beetles. Some nice round one, just like that. Nice and thick and round. And then we're gonna add a few spinners, but we're not gonna add them just like in the stew piece. We're gonna add them just like that.
final spinners going into this managed water. Let's turn it around. And for extra strength and extra stability and stamina, I'm going to add some okra. Then I'm going to have some meat seasoning just to give it more flavor inside here as well. Some onion powder. Remember it's managed water. Then I'm going to add a green scotch bonnet pepper and we're not going to make that pepper break because it will be trouble and then we're going to add all of our soup mixes Then I'm going to mix it in You want to get that soup mixed even inside the soup Okay, then I'm gonna do a quick taste. And look, this is how the chef does it. You pick up some in the other of the pot and then just lift it up and make it cool down and you just pour it in your hand. Yeah. And everything in the soup looking good. And all you wanna check if the soup is finished. Nice and dry yellow yam. Yeah. Now that the soup is finished cooking, I'm just gonna do the final stir to just make you guys see all the goodness inside the soup and this manish water. Well, can't wait to taste it. So I'm gonna switch my stove off and I'm gonna make myself a bowl. And oh my god. I'm excited to get inside the soup. Now I have soup into a bowl and this Jamaican Mardish water, I'll show you guys all the steps. And I'm so excited, my mouth is running water. And I'm gonna first, I'm gonna show you guys everything that's inside here. Dumpling, then we have carrots, and then we have goat meat, and we have piece of the goat head, and then we have I add it right here on okra on all the goodness. So now it's just time and we have a pumpkin. So now it's time for the taste. Wow. Taste is so good. And when you drink the soup, it's I remember it have enhancing in this soup because of the banana and all the goat head and everything and it's ram goat. And I always bring new recipe every time on the channel so just load me up in the comment section you see you and you soup ready who beg nugget and who no beg no want don't forget to like share and subscribe and remember it's at the Jamaican manish water goat head soup you don't know the thing though share the thing and don't spoil the thing check out the soup because I'm going to take my plate I'm going to run from the camera personally.